Welcome back, storytellers. In a world drowning in data, one truth stands clear. Numbers alone don't inspire action. It's the story behind the numbers that moves people. Today, we're exploring Storytelling with Data, a book by Cole Nussbaumer Knaflik that has transformed how thousands of analysts, leaders, and creators communicate information. If you've ever looked at a slide full of charts and thought, what am I even looking at? This is the book you've been waiting for. And if you want to dive deeper, you'll find the link to the full version of the book in the description below. Now, let's get into it. 1. Understand the context. Before you touch a chart, a data set, or even open PowerPoint, stop, breathe, and ask yourself, who is my audience? What do I want them to feel, to know, to do? And how can I deliver this message so it truly lands? Because that's context. And it's not just a step in the process. It's the foundation of everything. Picture this. You're standing in front of your team with sales data in hand. Your analysts lean forward, hungry for detail. Your managers scan for patterns, searching for trends. And your executives? They're waiting for a story. One that sparks action. Now imagine showing them all the same chart. You'd lose them all, but in completely different ways. That's why Cole reminds us the story isn't about you. It's about the person listening. And here's the heart of it. She says, The most effective storytellers with data don't start with numbers. They start with empathy. Because empathy is what transforms data into meaning. It's what turns numbers into a narrative people can believe in, remember, and act on. 2. Choose the right visual. Once you know your message, you need the right visual to carry it. This is where many presentations fall apart. A pie chart looks nice, but it rarely communicates precision. A 3D chart? It distorts values. And tables filled with numbers? They hide insight in plain sight. Cole simplifies it beautifully. There's no one best chart, only the best chart for your message. So what works? Use bar charts to compare categories, line charts to show change over time, scatter plots to show relationships between variables, and highlight tables when numbers matter, but one figure needs to shine. She emphasizes, design visuals with intent. Every axis, every label, every line should help your audience see what matters faster. 3. Eliminate clutter. This might be Cole's biggest lesson. Clarity beats complexity. Our brains process visuals instantly, but only when they're clean. Too much text, too many colors, too many borders, and the message dies in the noise. She calls clutter visual junk. Think of it like background noise in a conversation. It distracts from what's important. So strip away everything that doesn't add meaning. Remove redundant labels. Simplify legends. Use white space to breathe. Reduce color variety. Use one bold color to highlight your point and let everything else fade into the background. Cole puts it simply. Every element should have a purpose. If it doesn't, delete it. Now that your chart is clean, it's time to guide your audience's focus. Your audience doesn't know where to look, so you must lead them. Use pre-attentive attributes, features the brain processes instantly, without effort. These include color, position, size, and orientation. For example, a single red bar in a sea of gray instantly tells your audience, this one matters. A bold annotation draws eyes to a critical number. A simple arrow can direct attention better than 10 sentences. You're not just visualizing data, you're controlling the spotlight. Cole compares this to storytelling in film. The camera doesn't show everything at once. It frames what matters. Your visuals should do the same. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. It will take you a half second to support us. 
Five, think like a designer. This is where data meets art. Most of us aren't designers, but Cole shows that thinking like one is about function, not flair. Design is what makes information feel effortless. It's what allows people to instantly get it without explanation. Here's how. Use alignment to organize information naturally. Keep spacing consistent. Choose colors with purpose. Blue for calm, red for warning, green for growth. Avoid overuse of bright tones. Use consistent typography. Good design isn't decoration, it's direction. And when design disappears into the background, your message becomes the hero. Six, tell a story. Now comes the most human part. Data storytelling isn't about showing everything. It's about showing the right thing at the right time in the right way. Every story has three acts, a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning sets the stage. What's the problem or question? The middle explores the evidence. What does the data reveal? The end drives action. What should the audience do next? Cole says it best. If your audience walks away with no clear takeaway, then all your analysis was for nothing. So make your story emotional and clear. Use tension, pose a question, show a surprising finding, and resolve it with meaning. For example, our revenue grew 20% this quarter, but when we remove discounts, the growth vanishes. That's not just a number, that's a plot twist. When you use storytelling, people don't just understand your data, they remember it. Seven, case studies and real world lessons. Throughout the book, Cole includes before and after examples where cluttered, confusing visuals become simple, powerful stories. You'll see dashboards turned into clean, single message visuals, reports transformed into executive ready narratives, and presenters learning how to make their message land in 30 seconds instead of 10 minutes. She proves that good storytelling isn't about fancy tools. It's about clarity, empathy, and design thinking. In the end, Storytelling with Data isn't just a book about charts. It's a book about human communication. It teaches us to respect the audience's time, to value clarity over complexity, and to make every data point part of a bigger picture, a story that means something. Because the truth is, data doesn't speak for itself. It speaks through you. You are its translator, its voice, its storyteller. So next time you build a report, don't just ask, what does the data say? Ask, what story am I telling? If you want to go deeper and master this skill yourself, check the link to the full version of the book in the description below. Until next time, keep learning, keep creating, and keep telling stories that make data come alive. If you found this useful, consider subscribing and tell me which part of the video would change what you do next.